it killed me inside. It, it makes me so angry. And a grieving family says they are no closer to justice as the death penalty is taken off the table in a horrific child abuse murder case. Good afternoon, I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Thank you for joining us. L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon is dropping a bid for the death penalty in the Anthony Avalos murder trial. The mother and her boyfriend are both on death row for torturing and killing him in Lancaster. KTLA Vice Corrine De Winter live now at our newsroom with more on this story. Corrine? While Glenn, a representative with Gascon's office, defended his decision to remove the death penalty from this case, but many have criticized the DA's move, saying that it does not ensure full justice for victims and their grieving families. It's absolutely gut-wrenching. The family of Anthony Avalos was in tears yesterday. They were crying. The loved ones of 10-year-old Anthony Avalos, who prosecutors allege was tortured to death by his mother and her boyfriend, both charged with murder, said they'll never receive full justice in his killing. The satisfaction of seeing them suffer while on death row if convicted. That's because L.A. County's district attorney, George Gascon, in a stunning move this week, decided not to seek the death penalty against defendants Heather Maxine Barron and her boyfriend, Kareem Ernesto Leva. A special circumstances case that could have involved capital punishment, something Gascon's Says he does not support. Putting them on death row minimizes a lot of their comforts that they'll get and maybe they'll feel a little torture that Anthony got to feel. Prosecutors pushed for the death penalty due to the horrific nature of the case. Court documents detail how the defendants allegedly whipped the child with a belt and a looped cord, held him by his feet and dropped him on his head repeatedly, denied him food and slammed him into furniture and the floor. Deputies and paramedics found Avalos unresponsive in the couple's apartment back in 2018. The couple claimed Avalos had fallen, but officials discovered this was a suspicious death and eventually booked the two for murder. If there was ever a poster child case for the death penalty to be implemented, it was on the death of Anthony Avalos. The attorney representing the family of Avalos blasted Gascon's decision to take the death penalty off the table. I had to look at at the mother of Anthony Avalos and her boyfriend and, and see them smirking and smiling because they knew that George Gascon was on their team. He should be on the team of the people in this community. The most severe punishment that Leva and Barron can receive now, if convicted, is life in prison without the possibility of parole, something Avalos's aunt says isn't enough. And I thought, you know, well, now we're gonna get the justice he deserves and here comes George Gascon just changing everything with his new policies. And, you know, we are re we're left with this void in our heart. Deputy DA Jonathan Hatami criticized Gascon for removing the death penalty, tweeting, this is a major failure with the LADA's blanket policies. It leaves out entire communities. It doesn't even consider public safety. A spokesperson for Gascon's office said in a statement that uh, seeking the death penalty in cases like these subjects the victims to decades of appeals. It's also extremely expensive and has never been shown to be a deterrent to crime. Now, Supervisor Catherine Barger, she also said today in a statement that those responsible for Avalos's death should be punished to the fullest and that Gascon's decision, quote, has not been supported by the prosecuting attorney on this case. That's the very latest here in the newsroom. I'm Corrine Winter. Lou and Glenn will send it back to you in the studio.